This video will show creating element templates. We'll create element template groups to organize the templates in. We'll create a template in the group and then we can review the optional properties that are available with an element template. To create element templates we're going to go to the element template drop down, choose manage, and this will bring up the element templates dialog. I would select the library name here that we're working in and then as I do that you see we get the toolbar highlight I can create a new template group or create a new template I also have the ability just to right click in here so if I right click on a file name or a folder I can right click and choose new template group now the template groups can be used to organize the data and you would have to decide how to organize that do you want to organize it based on if this DGN library is for a given discipline maybe I want to say if this is the roadway DGN library, I could put that it's pavements, it's grading, it's sidewalks, things like that. Or if it's going to be used for the entire workspace, like we have here, XYZ standards, then maybe I organize this by discipline. I could say that this is landscape. And then maybe I want to create another one for roadway. And maybe create another one for bridge. Okay, and then if I wanted to organize these alphabetically, I can just right click on the top here, choose sort children, and notice how it brings bridge up to the top and resorts those alphabetically. You could do the same thing if you had multiple templates in a folder. I could right click on the folder, choose sort children, and it would organize any of the element templates in that folder alphabetically. Okay, so that's working with the template groups. Now if we select one of those template groups, notice we got some more options there. We can cut the template group, we can copy it, move it up and down on the list or delete it, or we can just create a template in that group. So I'll choose new template and we'll say that we want to create a shrub. Okay, so this is the element template. And the element template allows you to set certain attributes. So we can set the attribute for level to landscape shrub. What if we wanted to make sure that the shrub was above some of the topo or something like that? I could say add general setting and then notice there's additional properties available other than these default ones that come in. So for these optional properties I could come in and choose to add a priority and maybe I want that priority to be 100 so it'll come up above other elements in there. That's common for things like alignments that you want to be able to select easy without having other things cover them up. Let's just review some of the other properties that are available in an element template now. So if I right click and do add, we have additional general settings. Class, is it uh, primary or construction? We looked at priority. What if we wanted to add transparency? If we were doing uh, some line styles, and wanted to scale those custom line styles we can add parameters for things like that we've got the ability to create closed areas so if this was for a planting area maybe I would create a closed shape and you know I could fill that with a certain color or type I can create element templates for placing notes or text and define a text style and then after I define the text style I can add another one I'll go ahead and choose this. I got a text style, then I can right click, add text, and then I could override just certain properties in that text. So if that text was fine except for, say, justification, then I could come back, choose a text style, and then override the, just the justification of that text style. Of course, we would have to have those text styles in the workspace. We'll see how to do that in later videos. Continuing with the other properties, we can place cells by choosing the cell name. We can set the scale on a cell. We can uh, set terminator placement and choose the cell and scale and so on. We can go to point, place a point cell, point character. If you got an area that you want to place patterning on, we can define patterning area and we choose that. It allows you to choose the cell, the scale, the angles, all of that kind of stuff. If we right press and hold, I can go to add patterning and hatching it's the same thing with hatching so I, if I choose that I can hatch define the spacing define the angle if it's cross hatching I can have both angles defined and so forth 
we can come down to uh, other things. If I was doing dimensions, I can define a dimension style like we did the text style. Uh, often when we're working with element templates for feature definitions used by corridor modeling, we can go in and define material. Is it concrete? Is it grass? We also have the ability to define an item type that gets assigned with an element template. We could set an active item type there, or there's several properties available with element temp templates for terrain models. So we'll have a separate video just for terrain models to get into. So that is how to create an element template, create a group, and reviewing the optional attributes and properties that you can apply with an element template.